Close to Zadar, in Croatia, there is a mountain range called Velebit, full of rocks, with a super famous crag called Paklenica. It was one of the places where I started lead climbing. I led my first 6A, 6B, actually first 7C+. In 2018, I came back to Paklenica with the Czech national TV and we climbed Spomin, this amazing multi beach route up on Anichakuk, 350 meters, and I did it on site. And this route has pitches all the way up to the 8C. I was climbing with a local guy, Marco. When I look uh, him in the, in the wall, I didn't imagine that he will the first make whole route uh, like on side. I think he climbed like, like horizontal, the crack, and the, on the end of the, of the route, he was, I think, really happy when he made it. And he told me that close to Paklenica, there is a potential for really hard climbing in this massive cave of Vranjače. When we rest a little bit, I speak with him and I told him that we have a uh, new cave, that we find something and that's the name of the Vranjača, the biggest cave now in Croatia for the climbing and I think now it will be most popular. The cave we start both together with uh, Igor, Chorko, me and a few of our friends. We bought now like 50 roots and still it's enough space for more. I, I Baltic many route here. First starting the bolt Slovenian guy and I next route I bought and the Marco bolt and said, oh, this is good, this is good and extensions. And now it's, I think, 50 route it's here. It's a longer route. It's not easy. 10 meters. It's extensions for 50 meters route and that's pretty nice. I think the, the Vranjača for, for this uh, part of the Europe it's really special because across the summer everywhere it's too hot but in the cave still you have good uh, conditions for the, for the good climbing, the good routes, long routes uh, and you can decide which side of the cave you can use, you have different uh, between the routes, some crimpy routes, too fast and slopey routes. So I think for that the Vranjača is the best. The, you want in the raining out, here is normally climbing, it's possible climbing and that's the, the change, the, the climbing people in Croatia. In 2020, we made one climbing day in Vranjača and I was blown away. I really liked it. I really liked the rock quality considering how big and steep this cave is. And I was pretty sure I would come back. There are a couple of open projects. I decided to try this really amazing looking line at kind of the outside of the cave and going up all the way to the top in this amazing head wall. And I did it in three tries. It's called Mia and it's a 9A. This summer I returned for a family vacation. We had a nice time at the beach, climbed a bit in Paklenica, but I also went back into Vranjača and started bolting. In one afternoon I bolted two projects or two variations. Uh, the left one, after a couple of days, I managed to make first ascent. It's called Ayato. I think it's a total king line. It's something between 9A and 9A+. And in terms of like the power resistance that the route has, it's really unique and I think it's definitely worth traveling to Vranjača for this route. But there was a harder project, just the right. It shares the same start, kind of a pumpy intro, but then it goes straight up into a really hard bouldery crux. Back in summer, I could do all the moves. I could link most of the crux, 
but I knew that I had to return with a bit better shape and better conditions to finish it off. Late September, I'm here and we'll see how it feels. So the first 15 meters of the climb is about 7A+. plus. It's uh, not very difficult. Sometimes it's a little humid, so we have to pay attention. But all of this leads to a really nice ledge where you can stay for a few minutes, recompose and keep on climbing again. Most of the limestone caves where I climbed, there are many tufas, lots of knee bars. Vranecha is definitely not like this at all. And especially in this part of the cave, it's mostly climbing on small edges, sometimes bigger ones. And also the footholds are usually tiny, small in-cut things. I really like this part because it has such a nice flow. You just have to keep going. There is not really super hard moves, but the intensity is already quite high and you really have to climb with a good speed, otherwise you definitely lose a lot of power. You get to this final rest, which back when I climbed Ayeto, I didn't really use it at all. I just didn't see this sketchy knee bar where you really have to push with your right foot as much as possible, but it gives you something back. And then three moves on a really small crimps, maybe 70 plus ball brown by itself, leading to definitely the hardest move of the whole route. Left hand, okay crimp, right hand, really tiny knob and big move to this pinch. This was absolutely on the limit, but the ball brown is far from over. It's a few more moves where I was digging really deep. This is the first okay hold, but you still have to be really focused for the next maybe six, seven moves until you get to a good rest. I kind of knew I shouldn't fall anymore. I was kind of surprised I actually got there. It was really on the limit. So I was nervous, but I reached this jug and tried to get something back. Before giving this try, I always imagined that if I reach this point, I'll be pretty relaxed and I'll just get a lot of back. I'll keep on climbing and get to another rest. But what I totally underestimated is that the knee bar before I made the crux uh, took quite a lot out of my legs. And also the fact that I took deliberately pretty new and small shoes which helped me to stay on that knee bar just before the crux a little bit longer uh, were not so helpful in the upper part because the shoes were really tight and kind of stopped feeling my toes so this knee bar which theoretically should be quite good i felt like zero confidence i had a really hard time releasing my hands and in the end I decided not to stay for a long time and kept on going up to this crux number two. It has a couple of moves, intro, quite powerful, into this pretty hard crossover move of the really small left hand crimp. This was absolutely on the limit and the next couple of moves are still pretty hard. Getting to this rest felt almost like a miracle. Like, as I said, I thought if I do the crux one, I would easily do the route. In the end, this was a big fight and I was more like surprised that I didn't fall off rather than anything else.
here, this is the rest which is in common with Ayato, uh, the 999 plus, and I already knew this section quite well. Paradoxically, the day before I sent Ayato, I didn't really check this section very much. I didn't really clean it very much. Uh, so I was partly on siding and in the end uh, I fell off. So I definitely took a lot of care that I knew this section really well and I don't drop uh, this part, which by itself is maybe 8A, 8A plus, but after a good rest. so. It's definitely not walking the part, but having a bit of endurance, it's definitely a big mistake to fall off. But this time I knew the top pretty well and I wasn't even that nervous. And yeah, despite fighting in the previous crux, the very top was, was pretty casual. Clipping the chain is always great and clipping this one in particular, making first ascent, the first Croatian 9B feels even better. Traveling and seeing new places is part of climbing and I really enjoy getting to a new place and maybe bolt a couple of new routes and kind of leaving my own legacy. I really enjoy bolting and cleaning and sending the new routes, but I also enjoy when I see that my visit and my creation kind of gets the people around going and climbing more. And I'm really hopeful that this will happen in Varanjša, mostly for the local community. Today is uh, my birthday and Adam climbed to my birthday first 9B in the creation. <laughs> That's my uh, honor with my birthday. <laughs> Congratulations, cheers. <laughs> See you. Thank you. Climbing in Croatia is still quite small and it has no reason to be much bigger. And uh, I hope Vranjača will be the reason why Croatian climbing will grow. And I'm really grateful that I can be a little part of it.